He's saying the first thing he's gonna do when he becomes president is he is going to ban TikTok. Dak TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny! I've been thinking about getting into yodeling. Anywho, oh my gosh, you guys, we got lots of news to cover. Some serious news, some not as serious news, but lots of serious news. Yeah. So let's jump right into our first segment of today's show, which is, of course, broken news. First up in broken news, we've got none other than Jared Leto. Okay, you may know Jared Leto from his acting or from his band, 30 Seconds to Mars. I don't think you can get there that fast, Jared. I don't, I don't know. But Jared Leto is in the news because he, he climbed up the Empire State Building. He, he climbed up to announce his, his band's tour. Jared, you didn't have to climb up the Empire State Building and shout it from the rooftops. But I, re I appreciate that you did it. Apparently, this has been like a lifelong goal of his. I think he might be like the only person who has climbed up there. I can't believe he got permission. He's just climbing up the Empire State Building, announcing a tour. It's just, it's quite incredible, honestly. So good for you, Jared Leto. Okay, you're reaching new heights. <laughs> Literally. You're up very high. I would be scared. I'd be shaking in my boots. <laughs> Also in the news, we've got Hugh Jackman, okay, Wolverine, <laughs> that was Spider-Man, Wolverine, Arr, yeah. <laughs> Hugh Jackman and his ex-wife, well now ex, Deborah Lee Furness, they've been going through this divorce process and apparently Hugh Jackman wants her to sign an ironclad NDA. Uh, in a hundred million dollars. Like, it's a, it's a big NDA. They did not have a prenuptial agreement, which, obviously, these people need to listen to some Jamie Foxx and Kanye West. She take my money! Yeah, you know, holla, we want prenup. We want prenup. Yeah, it's something that you need to have, because when she leave your ass, she's gonna leave with half. <laughs> But I would have my lovers sign an NDA. I've talked about this before, okay? You know, I can't let all my secrets out. And I gotta have lawyer power to make sure that that doesn't happen. But uh, I hope they can come to a friendly conclusion and it's not intense. See, being a celebrity and getting a divorce sounds like a lot of work. I don't know why they even get married. <laughs> also in the news, we've got Kiki Palmer. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy. Kiki and her ex, Darius Jackson, since they broke up, it's been pretty dramatic and pretty crazy. And apparently, this breakup has taken an even darker turn as Kiki Palmer has filed charges against Darius Jackson. She is accusing him of physical abuse. And according to court documents, it says that Kiki is requesting a restraining order against Darius and sole custody of their eight-month-old son. She's claiming that she was a victim of his abuse over their two-year relationship. She is trying to, to get custody of their child and get this man away from her. She's alleging that Darius threatened her before lunging for her neck and striking her and throwing her over the couch and stealing her phone. This is horrible. I feel so, so awful for Kiki. Um, and I hope justice is served. I hope Kiki gets full custody of their child, and I hope that she gets the justice she deserves. Also in the news, we've got Pixar's Inside Out, which it has been announced that the sequel is coming. There is a trailer where all of these little emotion guys, they come in and they start tearing the headquarters apart. They rip it. They're ripping it for demo, okay? And then all of a sudden, the control board is orange, and they're like, I didn't do it. It's not me. I don't like orange. And then here pops up another little, little emotion and says, Hello, I'm Anxiety. Nice to meet you. I'm new here. 
Okay, so we are being introduced to new emotions in this sequel to Inside Out, which that first one just makes me cry every time. Poor Riley. She's really going through it. She's got a lot of emotions, okay? She's an emotional girl. Life is hard. <laughs> Anxiety is going to be voiced by Stranger Things star, Maya Hawke. So that's really exciting for Maya to be getting out there and getting these roles. And uh, I'm excited to hear her performance in Inside Out. Because that first movie, just stab a knife in my heart and it'll feel better than watching that. It makes me so sad, but it's also so warm. Pixar, why do you do that to us, okay? <laughs> Are you excited for Inside Out 2? Let me know in the comments. But that is it for all of the broken news I got for you guys today. Okay. But don't go anywhere because we're jumping into our next segment, which includes some politics. This is Running for Office with Johnny. Okay, as you know, the campaign trail is ongoing right now because people are trying to be elected for president in 2024. The Republican debates have been going on. I believe this is number three. Donald Trump has skipped all three, okay? This time, there were only five uh, candidates at the debate. Okay. So we had Chris Christie, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Tim Scott. Okay, so all of these guys and lady were up there on the stage debating all of these things. These candidates sparred over many, many topics. Uh, disagreements over aid for Ukraine. They talked about social security, TikTok, and banning the app, confronting China, and they also talked about how to approach abortion, okay? Which they shouldn't approach it. Leave it alone, okay? You already overturned Roe versus Wade. Haven't you done enough? So it seemed that, it really seemed that Mr. Ramaswamy and Miss Nikki Haley were beefing. They were at each other's throats the whole night. It seemed that Ramaswamy was doing a little bit of bidding for Donald Trump, you know, and he was going after the media, which, you know, I, I like going after the media, okay? Because I don't trust them. I don't. I don't trust anyone, though, so I don't know. <laughs> Ramaswamy also made some uh, attacks against Miss Haley. He was mocking her foreign policy and calling her Dick Cheney in three-inch heels. And then he also made the comment uh, so that it also went towards Ron DeSantis. Because he was wearing platforms, okay, to make him taller. I get it. Uh, but then Nikki Haley tried to flip that and said that her heels are six inches and she uses them for ammunition. That's violent. Very violent. What's she gonna do? Step on his neck with his, her six inch heels? Ouch. <laughs> they were talking about how, how Vivek Ramaswamy is using TikTok uh, to campaign. And they were like, oh my gosh, we, we got this guy up here using this app that, that China's getting all of our, our data from, okay? And he's using it to campaign. And yada, yada, yada. Okay, and that's when old uh, Chris Christie, <laughs> governor from New Jersey, <sighs> why is he there? Does anybody like Chris Christie? I don't even think Chris Christie likes Chris Christie, okay? No, he's saying the first thing he's going to do when he becomes president is he is going to ban TikTok. That's our number one priority in the world? Banning TikTok in the United States? Are we for real right now? Do we know what's going on in Israel? What about the homeless situation in the US? Fentanyl and the drugs on our streets. Now let's make sure we talk about TikTok because we're not on the verge of World War III over here. Chris Christie, go have a donut and stop trying to talk about politics because you're just not cut out for it, my guy. Okay, if we are really that scared of a social media app, they're saying that it, it is poisoning uh, the minds of our youth and yada, yada, yada. It's poisoning the minds of our youth. Okay, what about the major traditional media outlets? They're not poisoning our youth. 
I think they're poisoning me. Jeez. I just, I just can't even with Chris Christie. But uh, they went after Ramaswamy for using the app, which he then said, I find it funny that you're coming after me while, Nikki, uh, your daughter is on the app and uses it. And that's when Nikki was not having it. She said, you leave my daughter's name out of your voice. You are just scum. Scum. I don't know. I just, can we have a do-over with everyone? I'm including Trump and, and Biden in this. Can we, can we clear the slate, get everyone who's in office out of office, and restart the government somehow? There's a lot of bad, scary news out there right now. And a lot of these candidates are just as bad and scary as the news that's going on around the world, okay? And I can't see myself voting for any of them. That's why I'm writing my name down on the ballot, okay? Because Johnny Thomas Appleseed is a good candidate. Every single one of these politicians up there is spewing hatred towards each other. Okay, and if we are a leader in a leadership role and all we're doing is spewing hate at our at our competitors, okay, we are really we're leading into something. Okay, are we not divided enough as a country? Is it just like let's find who can divide us the most? Okay, we're already a two party system, which has its flaws and some pros, but we are so divided right now. I just, I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're a Republican, I care if you're a good person who actually cares about the things that matter, not if TikTok is taking your data of what videos you watch. Didn't we have a trial about this already? I don't know why we're talking about TikTok again. Okay, and then they're up there talking about abortion and all of this. It is not your decision to make. There are so many different scenarios where women need that help from medical professionals to have that done, okay? You don't know what any of these people are going through, okay? I understand. I understand. Every life matters, okay? I get it. I can see your point. But at the end of the day, none of us have control over what someone else does to their body. And we shouldn't have that power, okay? We, we have not earned it. There is no reason why we should believe that we can tell someone what they can or cannot do to their body. So back off, okay? I sat there and I talked about it when you guys were turning over Roe versus Wade, but it has gone too far. It is absolutely insane that you are still on this subject. Why this is even a political matter, I will never understand because it has nothing to do with you. We need to stop focusing on things that actually matter in the world around us, okay? And I don't think these candidates truly know what they're doing. None of them. People are mad at TikTok because it has more viewers than traditional media. Am I right? Okay. Who's paying for these candidates? Who's paying for our politicians? People who are in direct competition to apps like TikTok, okay? So... I feel like I am losing hope every day, but one thing that I always like to remind people is, like Journey says, don't stop believing, okay? Hopefully there's a better day on the horizon. That's all we can hope for. Uh, these debates, it just ages you. I started watching that debate looking like a handsome young Johnny Thomas Appleseed, and I ended it looking and sounding like Joe Biden at the end of the day, okay? And that's old and slow. Well, guys, that's all the news I got for you. Sorry I got a little heated there. It's just a lot, okay? And honestly, if you're not heated with the, the state of our nation and our politics, then uh, you don't care enough, okay? We should all be pretty angry with what's going on right now. So I think it's time for us to have a little bit of pillow talk, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. I just... I'm sorry I got so heated there. It's just very stressful right now in our country with the politics and everything, okay? Uh, but I'd like to introduce you to my friend, okay? This 
This here is Oliver Joshua Bassett Hound. Okay, Oliver Joshua, and he's a Bassett Hound. Okay, uh, he is partially named after Joshua Bassett, but uh, his first name is Oliver. Yeah, look at him. He's a good dog. He really is. Yeah, and he's good friends with Lucifer over here. Okay, yeah. Good cat. It's a good cat. And then Trevor. He's not very nice. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday with a whole bunch of brand new news, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, Oliver. Politics is tough. I don't like talking about it, but they're all stupid, so I have to. If, if, the, if the traditional media is not going to be honest, who is? Me. I'm always honest, Oliver. It's the one reason why they should vote for me and not these lunatics up there. Go to bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu, Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh. Is this the it puts the lotion on? <laughs> also in the news, we've got it's not a juicy bear. That is someone's burger. Ah, the Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Uh-huh.